if you're serious about jobs, we got to we got to have the best trained workforce in, in, in the United States. Uh, I used the community college teaming up with the operating engineers to train individuals to start converting buildings to lower our consumption of energy. We can actually improve our consumption of energy, put people back to work, and help the environment. We got to be smart in economic development. I'm going to do that as governor. Mr. Uh, before we talk about any new taxes. Again, this government has to run properly. When it comes to job creation, uh, we have a program in state government called the Opportunity Grant Program that we audited. It gets about $50 million a year, of which grants are handed to Pennsylvania companies for job retention and job growth. We have found in numerous instances, large sums of money, millions of dollars have been handed out. Companies have gone out of business, and we don't even know. That program needs to be put back on the right track. Mr. Darden, if you're committed to people who are challenged and are willing to invest in the future, you'll be able to turn around your state as long as you know, as well as your towns and cities. And that's a commitment the state should make. And I'll make that you Thank you. Um, that question I think I forgot to say was from SEIU. And now we have Hal Rosenthal from Keystone Progress. First, as a certain candidate for U.S. Senate said, I'm not a lady. <laughs> Human beings, I have a question for all of you. What, is your, what are your positions on same-sex marriage? Um, Mr. Honor, I'll this first. Well, obviously, that's a very important uh, issue uh, for Pennsylvania. Uh, and as county executive, uh, dealing with uh, all of the issues in the LGBT community, they're very important. And that's why I'm proud to say that we're part of the only second county in the state. Uh, I, I pushed and got past a bill that we don't discriminate in Allegheny County based on sexual orientation or gender identity. As, re as, it, relates, as it relates to same-sex marriage, your question, well, I don't support same-sex marriage. I do believe we can accomplish a, a lot of, uh, of these issues through civil unions uh, and through domestic partnerships. And as governor, I would be pushing and to deal with those issues through uh, those two uh, types of legislation. Mr. Reckon? I support marriage between a man and a woman. But I want you all to know that it come, when it comes to the gay and lesbian community, that I have been very sensitive to issues. As a state senator, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, I introduced a bill, was the prime sponsor of a bill, to add sexual orientation to the Human Relations Act. Still today, that has not been passed in state government. And as governor, I will make sure it's passed. But I also co-sponsored numerous pieces of legislation with then uh, State Senator Alan Kukovich, hate crimes legislation. As a matter of fact, I had a bill to include hate crimes as part of a category in terms of reporting crimes by the state police. I have been a strong advocate of supporting uh, the gay and lesbian community on a whole number of issues. And they are major contributors to our economy, to our society, and I'm proud to say there's a number of gays and lesbians that work for me as Auditor General and would be in prominent positions within state government. Thank you. Um, Mr. Dart. Uh, as the only one here who actually performs weddings, uh, I don't have a problem with same-sex marriage. It's very simple. People have a right to be happy. This is America. We respect everyone. And uh, we should provide everyone the same equality and respect. My I favor equal civil rights for all. Uh, I favor uh, marriage equality. I favor um, making sure that every law that is on the books treats people equally. Uh, and I favor saying uh, to those that oppose for religious reasons uh, that frankly, in, in the eyes of God, we are all equal. Uh, and in my view, our laws here on earth ought to reflect that equality. I think it's that fundamental. Uh, it's a moral question. People need to be treated equally and recognized as equals. And, and I can tell you there are uh, two gay couples 
living together in my suburban Republican neighborhood in Montgomery County. Uh, and they are uh, wonderful neighbors. There are examples. They put the trash out on the day they're supposed to put the trash out. <laughs> they, they clean up their yards. Um, the only difference in those houses is they have pretty nice flower beds. <laughs> but they are, they are as equal as any other couple. And I, I talk about those two couples that are friends of mine. Uh, when people say to me, we can't, we can't treat people equally, uh, we can't have gays marrying, and I say, oh yes we can. This is America, we stand for equality.